Hey guys, welcome back to the Good Meets Evil podcast. I am your host, James, alongside with... Micro Pop Collecting. How's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good. You doing good, bud? Yes, sir. We're doing lovely today. We got Spider-Man at the time of recording. Today's a good day. It is. I'm so happy we got Spider-Man, man. I'm so happy. D- did I actually tell you when 12.30 came around, he sold out in two minutes, but then at 12.40, they, re- 12:40, they restocked him? Yeah, I was seeing that shit. I was like, bro, I've been so I've been pissed at twelve thirty about that. <laughs> Facts, and I, I don't know if Funko Hollywood. I don't know if Funko Hollywood got it today. I don't think they did. But I, HQ I did get that cool ass Bigfoot though. I got him in. You need that one? Yes, sir. That fucking Bigfoot is fire. Unlike the fucking lazy Chester Cheetah. Honestly, bro, that Chester Cheetah is so lazy. I don't get the hype. I don't get it either. I mean, it is your favorite food after all, if you know what I mean. But yeah, <laughs> well, right. one of their delicacies, maybe, but I'm not trying to guess yes, that. Sir. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. That would be one of their delicacies. <laughs> Probably is. Honestly, bro. I mean, to be fair, you can make some good tacos out of that stuff. Like, wrap it in, like, a soft shell. That's pretty fire. I don't think Taco Bell has made Cheeto, sh- like, Cheeto taco shells. They have made Dorito ones, though. Those That'd be pretty cool if they made cheetahs. I'd buy those to try it out. Fire, I must say. Yeah. Dorito tacos are good. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> so um we're gonna be so you wanna tell us the topic of today's juicy um podcast episode's gonna be? Oh yes, we got a juicy one today to say the it is called not called, but it's about the women of Funko. Gotta fucking love them. Yup, gotta love those hoes who always will do this and that, which we're about gonna talk about. And let me just say a um, disclaimer: everything we're gonna say in this video um, will hopefully not come off as misogynistic. We just really hate it in general because we're not men who are horny behind the scenes. Wink, wink. Um, so you see, like, we don't like that stuff getting to our heads. So, and most people don't. So that's why they sort of will pop off sometimes or don't really like what the women do in the community. We mean like women of Funko. We mean like the Instagram collectors and stuff like that or just fucking women collectors in general. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Micro, is there a specific someone you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, let's get on to it. Let's get on to Miss Piggy, also known as Malone Pops. So, what are your thoughts on Malone Pops, my friend? Um, well, I have a little story, actually. Um, okay, I, I got little... one, too, actually. I'll let you go first. What? I got a little story myself, too, actually, So, but I'll let you go first on that one. Oh, do you want to go first or do you want me to? You can go first. I think yours is probably a lot more juicier than mine. <laughs> All right, bet, bet. No, my, I know for a fact I'm going to bash her out, but let me, let me just get mine out of the way. So, um, so my story is, um, she used to be a big, she used to be a fan of my page. Um, my old Pop Freak 1 page, I think. Um, you know, where I went on my backup account, I made a little rant me about the Alice in Wonderland Black Light once. I don't know if you were in for that streamer stuff. I sort of cried and I got bashed by people online, but, you know, Fuck them. Um, what happened then was yeah, it got after my after my account got hacked. What basically ended up happening was I made that whole Discord message that was um a joke I did online, which I got me. It was pretty funny. It was inspiration <laughs> restaurant. It was on Thanksgiving. She got mad and she like was like, Oh, I don't like you because you're this or that. I don't know if I actually have the chat logs. Let me see if I can find them on Instagram, cause I might be able to read them off. Actually, oh boy, that'd be kind of funny. Actually, by the way, the joke was hilarious. I don't give a fuck what you say. It wasn't racist. It's just a fucking joke. You feel oh me? yeah, exactly. I just don't want to say, it cause you know people, motherfuckers are sensitive. Did she block me? Hard way, bro. I'll send some rooms <laughs> in the group chat if you know you know. And we pissing off these motherfuckers, which is kind of the point, but still. It's it's pretty uh, typical Malone Pops, honestly. Like, that's about average. Yeah. Average uh, behavior hers. From what I can tell, at least, fucking, I'll get on my little story, then we'll just start making fun, not making fun of, but just saying what the fuck you really think. Side stories about her, but I, when I first started Insta back in 2020, I started during the pandemic. Yes, I've been collecting a lot longer than that. I just finally said, fuck it, I'll make a pop Instagram. Have fun with it. Well, uh, she was probably one of the first 
10, 15 people that followed me. So I was like, oh, cool, I'll follow her back. Because A, I'm a stamp. And B, spread the love of the Funko community. But uh, I try to be nice, make small talk about fucking office pops, whatever. I try to make some friends in this community. You know how that be. Well, uh, long story short with that bullshit, uh, she fucking unfollowed me after like a day because I gave her a follow. She's one of them type of girls. And, bro, those pages annoy the fuck out of me. Do you know why they do it? They do it because they want to get a follow, and then they'll unfollow you. It's called, it's basically, they want to gain followers by following people. And then once you see they follow them back, they unfollow you. It's almost like a bait. That's why I don't fuck with that. Facts, bro. I stopped giving a fuck about followers a long time ago. Yeah, I, exactly. I don't either. I don't care about followers. Facts. It's nice to have a high number, but I ain't needing it. I just give a fuck. As the homie says, bro, you uh, you don't need a thousand friends. You just need three strong-ass motherfuckers. Exactly. Three strong-ass motherfuckers can take down the building. Malone Pops, you're not one of them. Exactly. I mean, the only thing you could probably take down is a fucking strip club, but... <laughs> oh, well, it's facts. It's facts. <laughs> yeah. Let's ask Brian Mariotti about that one, because where else do you think them puppets came from? <laughs> Out of the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh shit. Brian Mariotti said you can make me some puppets with my DNA, you know, you know, I'll get you nine more fucking thousand followers, and then uh, that's how that happened. <laughs> For real. Man. Know, sorry, that's just the truth, man. Facts. And let's be honest here, bro. We know, because she be simping for these Muppets, we know she got a little Kermit the Frog pillow, like body pillow, probably a Kermit the Frog sex toy. Probably a Kermit the Frog fucking teddy bear or something to snuggle up with every night because she knows she can't get any other fucking man besides a frog because she's Miss Piggy and all, but that's about it. Do you know oh do you know you know she has an Amazon wish list, right? Yes, sir. And one more little thing I'll let you go on a rant here. Then I'll got all my one I want to say about her out. Instead of having men buy you fucking Muppets t shirts off Amazon wish list, you should have them buy you a personality, honestly. Woohoo! Got him! Facts. You can call me sexist. I ain't sexist. I'm just being honest. There's one beautiful woman in this world who have personality. But I'm sorry. If you she don't got personality. Her personality is ha, I have tits. Ha, I have like Muppets. That's not personality, bro. Like, I don't understand. Like, women have if you're a girl and you're sexy, you have a gift where you can instead of having an Amazon wish list where grown men should buy it, just stop being a pussy. And you literally have a pussy though, but stop being a pussy and actually open an OnlyFans or become like a porn streamer like sure it'll give me something or it'll give us something to enjoy but instead of basically having an amazon wish list in your bio for you to basically beg your followers to buy you can just sell your body online and make money because personally when i saw that the people were actually doing that i thought it was bullshit i thought it was funny but i looked into it and this is gonna sound pretty dumb but I recently I just found out that it's a legit way to make money, and um, I'm of course not gonna do it because I'm not that desperate. But you get the point. Speak for like, yourself. I'm that desperate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was at one point, but not going there. I'm not going to that level. But yo, I feel it, bro. Fucking, so you know he's the baby sent some kids, bro. Their fucking mom used to do that shit. Oh, for real? She, she made bank, bro. So that is legit. It's not. It's a, it's a legitimate way to make business, bro. Like, I'm going to talk about wrestling a second, if that's okay. Not wrestling, but it's kind of like wrestling. But uh, oh, you this one, oh, so this woman's women's wrestler had an OnlyFans, right? But it was pretty lewd, I must say. If you know you know what that means. But uh, she fucking got fired because of that. Because that oh, was WWE's PG now or whatever. She literally made a million dollars off that OnlyFans in three weeks. That's wild. Well, yeah, if she has big tits or a nice ass, I'll definitely be on that. You hear that, Malone Pops? You can buy all t-shirts you want if you can just do that. Fuck, excuse me. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Now, but, uh, hold on. I'm, I'm still trying to see if I can find the DMs. How do you spell... Is it... Uh, wait, did I, did I block her or she blocked me? Is it M... Is it M-A-L-O-N-E? Yes, Malone. I believe Malone like that underscore Pops. 
Oh, shit, did I block her or did she block me? We, I might have blocked <laughs> her, actually. I have no idea why. Yeah, we know all about blocking, don't we? Oh, yeah, I did block her. What the ho? It be what it be, as they say in this fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She blocked. We both get blocked left and right. Oh, yeah, I must delete the chat history. Yeah, I must delete the chat history, but... um, Yeah, yeah sorry, if, if you're wondering... um. Or if anybody wonders, I'm a little still sick. I, I recently got I'm confirmed to have COVID-19 for my second time. So currently quarantining, um, you know that. But um, I <clears throat> I think I know the second part of my story what happened. So after I made that offensive joke, um, she, she found out that – I think she found out that Pop News was me because she didn't like that joke I made about that whole – that whole little joke I made, which I was, which to myself, I'm like, come on, people, it's literally, a, it's literally a joke. It's nothing. It was nothing too offensive. Literally, it was very mixed. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> like a little bit of people thought it was offensive. A little bit of people thought it was good. You feel me? But like, and so then what happened was. After that, the new, when I had my new account that I got created, which was Pop News, the rebirth of Pop Freak, as I call the new, the new, and my friend said it was, he said it was like a new, like, <laughs> new branding, a rebranding, as my friend says, a new branding signal. I was, yeah, whatever. But yeah, so after the branding or after that, we made, I think, because we had some lists of some, new, of some new Muppets Pops that were coming out that I got from a, um untrustworthy source now. Let me just say that. No, and before you say, it was not off my fucking mind, okay? It was not off my mind. Like, most of my old leaks where this is legit from a guy who I got permission to post it. I post it, and he and she actually made a, resto- a story starting to piss us off. Saying, oh, my God, it's just one guy writing this page. It's not five people listening to that because I was trying to hide the whole identity that I was writing the page. But silly but, sh- silly but surely, motherfuckers found out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And she went to her story and, like, revealed, like, oh, my God, you can't even spell Miss Piggy because I thought it was M.S., Piggy, but it's M I S. It's like, oh, miss, like I miss you or something. So, hey, don't even, uh, don't even trip about it, dog. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. The yeah. reason she was mad about that is because she's Miss Piggy, and uh, you misspell her name, she gets mad. Like she goes to Starbucks and they spell it the same way. <laughs> My name is Miss Piggy, you motherfucker. Hell, dude. Let's be, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what was going on. But yeah, man, but sounds like a bunch of little bullshit there, man. But, but she getting fired. Finally, uh, calm her ass down because there's new Muppets Pops coming. I don't believe it. You got my Go fuck yourself. I want to see your face when they come out. For real, exactly. There are new Muppets Pops coming out. And like, and this is like something I'm saying too. Like, some women just like, some women just got to be careful with like what they project and what they say on social media. Like, I don't know if you knew, but when that whole fanatic fury thing was coming out, she made a photo of herself, like with the bandana strapped around her, her, um, I don't know a different term besides tits or boobs or um, the below the waist. I was, or or, yeah. Her, where her breasts were, she had like the bandana wrapped around it and shit. And I'm thinking to myself, um, like, she was obviously looking for attention by that. I'm going to bring this around to my school. Shout out to the STM girls. Um, I appreciate you all, okay? I love you all. Not trying to be rude or anything by this, but, I mean, and I get it's like when you're in my, when you're in the grade now and you're in, like, our section, but, like, you got to be careful with who you, I wouldn't say fuck with, but who you, like, will lead and, like, flirt with. Because when you do that, you just end up making boys, like, assume the best. And you got to be careful because if you tell some random guy in public, he's going to think... It, he's gonna think in a different way, and then you're gonna be traumatized for life if you get what I mean. So my lesson of that is to honestly just just be careful what the fuck you say to boys if you're trying to turn them on or flirt with them. Because like I say, we're boys, man. We're just desperate. So 
We'll do what we want and we'll think what we want because you know we just want to check that thing off. We got that dog. But I honor, I hundred percent agree on those uh, notes with that. Fucking, if you're a girl trying to flirt with a dude, make sure it's a dude you actually like. You know what I mean? If it's someone you don't like, that's a lot of risk involved there, to end badly. Yeah, just don't do it. You don't like them. Facts. That, that's understandable. <laughs> Yeah. The girl you want to talk about? I feel like there was. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on to it. This girl here is very similar, except for she doesn't have as big as a following. For two reasons. <laughs> a, she's not as hot as Malone Pops. I'm going to be haunted with you. She may be Miss Piggy, but Miss Piggy got yams. No offense, but. <laughs> and two, is still a Stranger Things dick rider in February of 2023, bro. Oh, boy. Gotta love him. This account is called Funko Queen B. If y'all want to judge yourselves, you can go and take a look because she's very similar. But, like, she, I have a pet pee with her because she has followed and unfollowed my account probably 10 times. And the 10th time I find, you know what, fuck this bitch. I'm just going to fall back. Because, bruh, shit is so stupid, man. Like, I don't get it, bruh. And, like, no one wants to see your ugly ass either, your Canadian emo school shooter looking motherfucker. You should go date Noah. You all meant to belong to each other, honestly. <laughs> Noah, if you're watching, buddy, I got you a little something, something. And she's in Canada, too. That works. That works. Yeah, you but, probably uh, find her at fucking Shoppers Drug Market looking for some fucking sex pills or something next time she fucks ass. the store worker or her fucking neighbors for some Funko Pops. Facts, bro. Like, fucking. She dressed up as Chrissy from Stranger Things for Halloween, which is kind of cringe, low-key, because no one in October gave a turtle's dick about Stranger Things. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Like, I just fucking, I don't hate yeah. her or nothing, but she's just annoying. Yeah, I'm most pops is overall more are. annoying, but still annoying. Yeah, get that. Like, I see companies who are like promoting these hot ass girls who are in the Funko community, like a big online following, and are like, in and are like Instagrammers and stuff. You know, they got that big following. They got all these girls who they like will hang out, or they got they basically have all these supporters, and the companies will support the women who are hot looking and attractive and have some big body parts. And to myself, I'm just thinking, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. But like, if you're going to like promote that or have them like promote it, like if you have a younger audience and they click on that, then they're going to see that they have like pornography. And I'm a totally against like, women like um publicly advertising their only fans things because like i said i was at the mall in the summertime and this girl had an ad for her only fans she <laughs> that bitch up on the pole by the holy oak mall entrance where that was i scraped that bitch down my long ass nails i was growing out over the summer because i don't want the little kids to walk in there and be like oh mommy what's that and she asked to explain oh that's a girl who can't go out and get normal money so she has to sell her body to grown ass motherfuckers online to make some extra money to either afford her habits, her life, or pay her damn bills, or pay her boyfriends this, pay her medical bills all that shit, you know, you feel me so basically, my end of rant is companies need to stop simping for these girls and actually just like advertise people like me, pop news or other stuff in general, who actually like give more to the company than give more to them. Like, and let me tell you this, the only the reason why most girls will do this online is either to look for attention or to turn men on or just to make them be like, oh my God, that's so hot. I wish I could just drool on him and just like rub some fructose corn syrup on him, baby, and lick <laughs> you thin. Oh my God. 
Like, that's literally, like, what they assume. Like, it's like, in the Funko community, when you're in the game, I'm like, I just want to collect and look at people's collections. Like, I don't want to look and see a hot-ass girl that's going to turn me on. Because that's what they want to do. They want to turn you on. Like, I'll tell you what. When someone sends me a photo of a hot girl and be like, and, like, be like, oh, my God, her tits are so hot, this snap and she has Funko Pops, the first thing I'll do is look at the Pops in the background. I'm <laughs> sorry, but your body is not going to stop me from looking at your Pops first, okay? I'm going to check that shit out before I judge, you feel me? I like, guess it's how it is, man. Facts, bro. Like, as you know, we boys, we boys, we're going to be a hundred here. We all on the site, right? The OF leaps. I ain't paying for that shit. I'm a step above my, my head, you feel me? Fuck yeah. yeah. We go on that bitch, right? We see this hot girl on there, and she has pops. This hoe is nude as hell, rubbing the Gandalf and Lord of the Rings pops on her breasts. And I'm like, bruh, what is popping <laughs> on the background? I don't give a fuck about your titties. Hey, mid, what's in the background? For real, ah. man. Uh, so it, like, it, this is the irony of it, though. This is my issue with the world. So you got women doing that, right? They get three sponsorships from companies and Funko. Like, uh, the homie, like, the homie like Pop Freak here fucking does it. For Pop News, he gets cease and desist. What's the, what's, what's the justice in that? For real, exactly. It's like it's, it's stupid. Oh, so damn stupid. Now, not all you women collectors are bad. Some of y'all are cool. Some of y'all legit. Some real Gs. Some fun people. But the, it's the same way with the Californian collectors. Some of y'all aren't bad. But the ones that are bad ruin it for you. Every time you hear California pop collector, you fucking think, Ugh, this bitch was there since 6 a.m. for the Flockchester. Oh, we got a big ass collection. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. That's so damn stupid, but. Oh, yeah, exactly. I totally, I totally get it. Like, uh, and honestly, like. Man. Yo, and like either in a community, like if it's a shoe community, if it's a toy community, if it's the Funko community, you'll always have that one group of girls or that one girl in particular who likes to like show her boobs off. Like, what's an example? Like, I'm not gonna get sexist here. I really don't have man tits, sadly, to show this, but she's like, "Oh my god, guys, time for an Instagram selfie!" What? Just like plugging her boobs together. It literally. <laughs> It literally is like that. Or if she has a soda, she's like, yeah, guys, check out this new fungal soda. (laughs) 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 It's it's be like that. I'm shocked no girls in a photo like that in particular, man, to be honest. Like one of them has now in the wrestling figure community, we have them too, bro. They're so annoying. Oh yeah, I forgot. There is oh that would be in the toy community too, but yeah, exactly. So we got this one chick in the toy community who wears like Boba Fett helmets and she'll shit action figures on her tits like it's a display. Wait, is that the wait you talking about the lady fat, right? The lady fat? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna buy one of her pins in 2020 because I was a simp for that girl. Fuck her though. She ain't getting my money. Facts. People want to talk about men in America. Men are bad, don't get me wrong, but women, bro. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, man, it's like when my friend, like my friend says, like my friends, my friend have all these stories, all these issues of girls over the year. I know everyone has, and I'm like, and I'm like, it's like, like people back in my dad's age were getting into fights and being bullied by boys. Nowadays, we're all being bullied by girls or harassed by women. It's really an interesting generation of how from bull, how we used to bull, we used to worry about being bullied or being talked about or having rumors spread. And nowadays it's just about what girl's the hottest and which girl's going to start drama. And if you're going to be dragged into it or if you're going to be made out to be this or made out to be that. It's just stupid. It really is. Man. 
But I think we got most of our uh, dirty laundry out about the Funko women. Honestly, I think we did too. Yeah, I mean, is there anything else you want to you want to talk about? I mean, we basically we went on a rant. Um, basically, like our our little lesson to any girl who wants to do this shit and or does this or like yeah, our lesson to any girl who wants to do this stuff or has plans on it or has done it like just just just. Just please don't fucking do this shit. And please, if you are doing it, get some fucking help and actually go get a normal fucking job and stop trying to sell your fucking body online. I get it's a I get it's a way to make money, but at the end of the day, if your parents see this, they are just gonna be disgusted and humiliated. Like, oh my god, I raised a daughter who's doing this, who's selling her body online to make money. Oh my god, it's like it just makes you look like a literal whore, a literal slut. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's like when I used to go on porn. I don't do porn up anymore and all that shit. I'm I'm be hundred I'm be real with you right now. I used to be like, wow. I'm like, imagine, and I know no one thinks this shit, but I think I'm like, wow, like I wonder what the parents would think of their daughters now if they see this video or just I don't know, just that or like that it's it's they're just fucking whores, but you know. <laughs> You're not wrong, but you're not wrong at all. You're not that. wrong, but you're not wrong at all about that situation, bro. Facts. But, yeah. Wild, man. It's just crazy how it it's crazy how desperate some people will be for money. And like OnlyFans said they don't want to be known just for like just for like their creators, like selling naked photos and leaking sex tapes and to myself I'm like I'm sorry man but you guys are gonna be known for that for a long ass time bruh you feel me honestly that's literally the use of OnlyFans only bruh let's be honest here that's why people <laughs> have OnlyFans there ain't no other reason like I ain't honestly that shit is so fucking fucked man Oh, yeah, exactly. It's fucking pathetic. It's so stupid. Pathetic, man. Stupid and fucked, It's fucking so stupid. It is ridiculous, man, that the world is caught this stuff. Fuck, man. It is ridiculous, This world man. is a shithole, and it's... And one of the reasons are is because we got fucking women who do this shit. And, and I know the thing, oh my god, women should dress the way they should. I was like, yeah, but, like, I get women should be able to dress the way you dress, but think about it, at my school, we have a dress code for a similar reason that relates to this. People just look disgustingly at women, like, oh my god, they're using their body for this or this and that. And yeah, like, and I get too, women should have the rights to dress how they feel like and post about it online, but I'm like, shut the fuck. Up. I'm like half of these photos too, or it could even be photoshopped too. We might be just looking at a fake ass image that some I don't know some bot or some freaking pedophile is trying to lure people in because he's probably self-employed at his house because he can't get no jobs because he was caught looking at the neighbor's daughter across the way. You feel me? Like, facts, facts. Oh, fuck, I feel it. Like, like it's honestly, it's honestly it's causing problems. Like. Yeah. Yes, the man in the blame too. We need some self control. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's a, it's a double standard. It should be a double standard. People say it's not a double standard or the fucking problem. Definitely agree. Uh, this is obviously became, became a lot more political than just ripping on fucking Funko women. But I ain't offended by it. We just being blunt honest. This became a lot more political than I was expecting, but. Yeah, I know we sort of like transferred from Funko women into this, but we're just giving a full on rant. But I'm sort of running out of time to talk about, but I feel like this is, I feel like, I think we we have a good stopping point, don't you think? Oh, yeah, we covered the the fucking mass majority of the problem, honestly. Yeah. The lesson of this is, though, the lesson for this is just women just chill the fuck out with what you post and what you try to seduce the collectors of men into looking at and seeing. Because at the end of the day, we're a toy coll- we're a toy collectors. We don't want to sit home and see this hot girl saying, oh, my God, she's so hot. 
or I'm a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, what's it called? I'm gonna open my canister to her. If you get, I'm like, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up here for this episode yes, of the Good Meets Evil podcast. Um, yeah. Michael, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, hope you all enjoyed today's. Uh, uh, not really. Just hope you all uh, enjoyed our thoughts and don't think we're too fucked up. We're just honest. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna sign off now. But, uh, um, yeah, I think that'll be all for. for uh, our... Alrighty. All right. See you guys. Oops, sorry about that. But alrighty, let's sign off for now. Hope you all enjoyed. See you guys.